Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 best external hard drive for MacBook. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is WD Passport. WD Passport, this model is the latest generation of the many My Passport drives I've owned or purchased for clients. They have proven reliable and good performers. They have incrementally improved with each new generation. This model features a new case design which I feel is much better looking and is slightly smaller than the last version. This model is a little bit faster than the last 2016 model I bought. I got the black 2TB model and this generation offers up to a 5TB model as well as the usual smaller capacities. This model is just noticeably faster than the last generation on sequential reads and writes when I tested using CrystalDiskMark. This My Passport has a new design that returns to rounded corners and soft look matte case. I like this much better than the older one with its cheap looking, to me, styling. The drive is slightly less thick, wide and long than the 2016 model. And my laptop bag that's welcome even, if not a lot smaller. I'm very pleased with this My Passport drive as with ones purchased over the last decade plus. It's reliable, fast for a USB mechanical, HD, and gives a lot of space for a low price. I tested both my older 2016 My Passport 4TB drive and my new My Passport 4TB model using CrystalDiskMark benchmark software and by copying 11GB folder of updates and files to the drive. This was to compare the benchmark with real-world copying. The 11GB folder has a broad mix of file sizes and types including files and over 2GB ISO DVD image. Using CrystalDiskMark, I found sequential reads were about 3% faster and writes about 8% faster with the new model. Random reads were just a tiny bit slower and writes were about 8x faster. While the benchmarks showed significant differences, using them in my real-world copy test, the difference was most noticeable, with lots of smallish files, but not so much with large sequential reads writes. If you need to write smallish files, this drive is noticeably better than the model and about the same for large files. The number 4 on the list is Oak Envoy Pro. Oak Envoy Pro, this is the most solid drive enclosure I have ever purchased. Yes it is more expensive than many enclosures, but the quality is heads and toes above others I have purchased. It appears to be machined out of one piece of aluminum. It is heavy for its size and conducts, heat well to keep the me drive operating at its optimal level. Oh and the speeds are just as advertised. Highly recommend it and Oak as a company. I purchased this drive along with just the enclosure for backup of my Mac system. The drives have sensitivity to any cable movement at the connector and will dismount if moved a bit. Oak would redesign or replace the drive USB-C connector with a higher quality, more reliable connector the Oak Envoy Pro X with USB-C gives your projects and presentations the pro performance and polish they deserve. Housed in anodized aluminum, the Envoy Pro X with USB-C is the perfectly sleek take-along for your photos, videos, music and important files. Lean on its award-winning, designed to add style to your office and client meetings. Built tough for mobile jobs and on-set challenges, the Envoy Pro X with USB-C has an IP67 rating. Its dust tight and can even withstand an unexpected plunge in water so relax, knowing your data is protected, and refocus your energy on your creative flow. The Envoy Pro X with USB-C packs production level, performance in a palm size package. Inside the finely crafted shell sits a high-performance NVMe M2 SSD that delivers quick access to your data and doesn't interrupt your workflow. One try and you'll wonder how you ever worked without one. Lightweight and slim, you can slip it into a bag or coat pocket and transport your data everywhere you go. Say goodbye to your desk knowing you have the speed and data protection to maintain your best work everywhere you go and the style to look good doing it water resistant for up to 30 minutes at 1 meter. The number 3 on the list is Samsung Portable SSD. Samsung Portable SSD, my initial experience with the Samsung Portable SSD was very problematic. I installed the Samsung security application on my MacBook Pro and I ended up having many failures. 
Within this last week, I removed the Samsung software and I used the Mac disk utility to reconstruct the SSD drive as an APFS encrypted disk. I now have an excellent experience. My recommendation is that people should never use the Samsung application to manage their MacBook Pro. This was my first opinion, which I no longer are concerned with. I purchased this SSD system to use for data storage and to run Windows 10 virtual machines on the device because I was overusing data on my laptop. I was able to install it yesterday within a few minutes. I set up the Samsung portable SSD application on my Mac with the security component turned on. When I was installing the software on the MacBook Pro 2018, I had an alert stating that the software will no longer run because it will not run on the next version of Mac OS X. When I migrated over 500 GB of data from the Mac to the SSD X5, it moved very fast. I was very impressed at this time. I started up a Windows 10 VM on the SSD and I had a different opinion. Had been using the SSD for about three weeks and experience was superb. To start up with the design, the hard disk looks really sleek, sleekness achieved due to SSD type being NVMe, which is much smaller than regular 2.5mm disk, attached an image of NVMe SSD on top of iPhone X for size, which is good, as it can easily fit in pocket if needed. The color with the black and red looks really nice and well designed, and found few F1 cars that partly resemble the X5 MODEL minus all the branding. Now getting back to usage, on the first run, the speedest shows write speeds of 1891 megabits per second and read speeds of, which is amazing, but guess, if the processor is newer, higher speeds can possibly be achieved as well. When the SSD was connected to Mac, there was an option to install software, which in turn can be used to set password protection with A's 256-bit encryption. But even after multiple tries, application doesn't detect. The hard disk is connected, even when connected, which is disappointing, but it may depend on the older Mac I use, so others may be able to install it, and it should possibly install on Windows. The number two on the list is Crucial Portable SSD. Crucial Portable SSD, I have two external Crucial X6 SSDs, two external X8 SSDs, all in one TB capacity and this my first crucial X8 2TB SSD, all conisted to one USB port on one of my laptops through EA Juiced Systems Vertex USB-C 10GBS powered hub. One laptop has a 5GB per second USB port, and the newer one has a 10GB per second USB port. In either system, these drives perform as well in my real-world usage as if they were internal drives. I use them to, finally, get control of my data organized into categories. So handle mainstream data, multimedia data, games and regular backup, copies of all important data. I can, and do, move my entire data repository between laptops by just moving a single USP plus, no cloud concerns, no NAS complexity, and no worries about hacking, ransomware or intrusive online snoopers. When I choose, my entire data repository can be air gap secure by just pulling a USB plug. My internal C drive is thus limited to the OS and program files, all of which I can reload from online secure sources if I have to wipe and rebuild a non-functional system. After using PC for over 40 years, I finally feel like I've got it, right a necessary storage solution if you do not want to break your wallet pockets on the Seagate card for the system. Although this will not be as convenient as the proprietary Seagate card it still allows for easy and much speedier data transfer than what you would get with a traditional external HDD. With this I can transfer a 50 to 60 GB game to the internal drive of my Series X in about 2 to 3 mins versus the 8 to 10 when moving a game from a 1200 RPM USP 3.2 drive. The transfer from internal to external is relatively speedier too with it taking just shy of 5 mins to transfer revealage to the SSD but roughly 13 mins to the external HDD 8TB Seagate Firecute a game drive. All in all until there are more affordable high capacity storage options for internal storage on the XB series systems these things are a great short term solution. I recommend viewing Digital Foundry's YouTube overview on external HDD versus SSD performance on Xbox Series versus PS5 for more examples of why this drive and others like it out perform HDDS and NVMe drives. The number one on the list is Kingston. 
Kingston, I needed an external SSD for my gaming laptop, I wanted a 2TB one that was small, enough to sit above my keyboard on the speaker section, this was perfect, it's shorter than a bit lighter and is extremely fast, the cable that comes with it is a double-ended USB-C, so if you want to get the full speed potential you will need a USB-C port on your computer or console. If not you can get a regular USB-C to USB-A cable. I got this one because I didn't want to put a new hard drive in my laptop at the time, so I figured I could use this for gaming and then use it for something else later down the road. It does the job great, even if I stop using it for gaming, it's a great small external hard drive. I bought this SSD to put High Sierra on my old iMac. The WD external 3.0 USB HDD was too slow, really slow. I connected the Kingston SSD to a USB 3.0 port on the iMac using an adapter. This drive is fast even through the USB. I could find no way to connect this SSD, no adapter exists, to the Thunderbolt 1 port. Time Machine Restores, Migrations Booting Everything, is about 50% faster compared to external drive. I had ruled out SSD drives previously because of the price, but a recent search for the fastest 2TB SSD drives included this Kingston SSD with a much lower price tag than I was expecting. My previous external G drive was very slow and it was frustrating to have to wait for the disk to get up to speed, if it had been idle for a while physically, it was also comparatively large, it must have been about 12 cm wide x 22 cm long by about 4 cm high, as a rough estimate. So I was very surprised that this Kingston SSD is smaller than a Mars bar, though I don't plan to carry it around with me, I can see how someone producing large files at home could easily put it into a pocket and take their work elsewhere, egg to a recording studio or a location where they plan to deliver a presentation, for example where the drive could be plugged into another computer, Mac or PC. This could be useful for any space-hungry files, including video large images, audio recordings, larger presentations, etc. While file sharing via the cloud is cheap enough and pretty normal these days, the ease of being able to take your work on this drive and plug it into a computer in another location means that you don't need to worry about whether the host computer has enough internal drive space to accommodate your massive files.